Federal prosecutors just got another win in their case against P. Diddy when a male escort reportedly handed over a sex tape showing one of Diddy's alleged freak-offs. It's these freak-offs that are at the center of the federal indictment against Diddy, and now prosecutors have even more digital evidence against him. But what does this alleged sex tape mean for the prosecution? Could even more tapes come out as we await trial? The unfolding scandal surrounding Diddy continues to grow darker as more shocking details are coming to light. In a new development that has intensified the case against him, a male escort has stepped forward with a disturbing account of Diddy's private world, painting a picture of manipulation, control, and harmful behavior. This testimony, now central to the federal investigation, sheds light on events that have remained hidden for years. The male escort's story uncovers a side of Diddy that few outside his inner circle ever saw and offers crucial evidence that could play a pivotal role in the case and locking him up for life. According to the male escort, Diddy's exclusive gatherings were anything but ordinary parties. Known as freak-offs, these events were carefully planned, with Diddy allegedly holding complete control over everything that took place. The gatherings involved a select group of individuals, often including participants who were pressured or manipulated into uncomfortable situations. The escort revealed that while the public saw Diddy as a music mogul and cultural icon, behind the scenes, his influence over these private gatherings was both overwhelming and disturbing. The escort testified that he was invited to multiple events, all of which followed a similar pattern. Upon arrival, guests were made to feel as though they had no choice but to participate. Many who attended felt they couldn't leave or refuse what was happening. These sessions were said to be highly orchestrated, with Diddy acting as the director of these encounters, often dictating what individuals should do and how they should behave. One of the most disturbing aspects of the escort's testimony is the claim that Diddy's power over participants went beyond mere social pressure. The Gatherings were often recorded without the knowledge or full consent of those involved. Diddy's control was not only physical, but also psychological, as the individuals there were constantly aware that they were being watched and possibly filmed. The escort story revealed a consistent pattern of coercion and manipulation, which has become a central theme in the ongoing investigation. He described how participants were often offered drinks and drugs, which led them to become disoriented and unable to make decisions for themselves. The escort detailed how, during one specific gathering, he and others were provided with alcohol and drugs, then taken advantage of by Diddy. Where there's power in other individuals who have come forward, and it's essentially a domino effect. And, you know, U.S. Attorney Damian Williams, when he had that press conference, he actually put up a hotline for any individuals who participated in the freak-offs. And the reason why this type of evidence is so damaging for Diddy is you both have a witness and you have a video. And the video doesn't lie. And the irony is that Diddy took these videos apparently to have a leverage over the participants. But now those videos are going to be used against him in a very serious criminal trial. This pattern is reportedly common at Diddy's private events, with multiple victims now coming forward to confirm similar experiences. Many have testified that they were given substances that impaired their judgment, allowing Diddy and others to manipulate and control the situation and do whatever they wanted to them. Some admitted that they oftentimes would wake up sore and little memory of what had happened, a detail that aligns with multiple people now. Victims described feeling trapped, as though they had no option but to go along with what was happening. The escort's testimony confirmed these fears, explaining that once someone entered Diddy's world, they were at his mercy. This environment of control and submission created a toxic culture, where participants felt powerless to resist, let alone speak out. One of the most troubling aspects of Diddy's alleged actions was his use of secret recordings. The male escort revealed that Diddy would routinely film these gatherings, which are now part of the federal investigation, allegedly feature individuals engaged in activities they did not fully agree to or were unaware were being captured on camera. The presence of these recordings raises significant legal and ethical questions. The escort explained that these tapes were kept as part of Diddy's personal collection, but they also served as a tool for manipulation and control. By holding on to this footage, Diddy allegedly ensured that those involved would not speak out, knowing that the tapes could be used against them. Federal prosecutors are now reviewing these recordings, which were seized during a raid on Diddy's properties earlier this year. These tapes are believed to contain incriminating evidence, potentially supporting the claims of coercion and manipulation made by the male escort and other victims. Investigators are determining whether these recordings were used to blackmail or pressure participants into silence, a tactic that would suggest a long-standing pattern of abuse. The fact that these recordings exist 
combined with the escort's testimony, could prove critical in the case. If it is shown that Diddy used these tapes to control or manipulate individuals, it could lead to serious legal consequences, including charges of privacy violations and exploitation. Here's where things get really tricky, because as you said, Diddy is going to say, hey, this was consensual. They were into it. I was into it. But we've heard in 11 civil suits and now a federal indictment that it wasn't consensual. A lot of these survivors were forced to partake in these freak-offs. So how will each side go about proving it was consensual or it wasn't? That's, that's going to be the key question in the case. The case will come down entirely to consent or not. So the government has the burden, of course. They're going to have to show that this wasn't consensual. So obviously, if there's something that's said or done in the videos that shows force or coercion, that's game over for Diddy. Um, if it doesn't, then the question is, the victims are going to have to testify. And like you said, there's eight, nine, ten victims now who filed civil lawsuits. The male escort story also sheds light on why so many victims felt they couldn't come forward earlier. According to the escort, Diddy's influence in the entertainment industry was immense, and many feared that speaking out would lead to personal or professional suicide. This culture of fear allowed Diddy to continue his behavior unchecked for years, as victims believed that no one would listen or that they would face backlash if they tried to expose what had happened. The escort revealed that even when he considered speaking out, the pressure to stay silent was overwhelming. Many of Diddy's victims felt that their careers in entertainment or other industries could be destroyed if they dared to come forward. The combination of Diddy's powerful connections and the fear of being blacklisted made it nearly impossible for victims to seek help. This culture of silence is a key focus of the ongoing investigation. Prosecutors are now examining how Diddy's influence allowed him to operate without accountability for so long. They are are also investigating whether others in his circle helped to protect him, either by covering up his actions or by enabling the behavior. These individuals could face legal repercussions as well if it is proven that they played a role in allowing Diddy's actions to continue. The male escort's testimony has become a cornerstone of the federal investigation, offering a detailed and disturbing account of what allegedly happened at Diddy's private events. His decision to come forward has provided investigators with vital information, and his testimony is expected to play a significant role in any legal proceedings against Diddy. Legal experts believe that the seized recordings, combined with testimony from the male escort and other victims, could lead to additional charges against Diddy. The investigation is ongoing, and prosecutors are reportedly exploring whether these tapes were used as part of a larger pattern of control and manipulation, which could result in further legal consequences. In addition to privacy violations and potential blackmail, prosecutors are also examining whether Diddy's actions could lead to charges related related to non-consensual activities. If it is proven that participants were unaware of the recordings or felt pressured into participating, it could have far-reaching legal implications for both Diddy and those who enabled these events. The allegations against Diddy come at a time when the entertainment industry is grappling with a larger cultural reckoning around issues of power, control, and inappropriate behavior. In the wake of similar scandals involving figures like Harvey Weinstein and Jeffrey Epstein, the accusations against Diddy have sparked renewed conversations about the need for greater accountability and transparency in Hollywood. For many, the male escort's decision to come forward represents a crucial step toward justice. His story has emboldened others to share their own experiences and more victims are expected to speak out as the investigation progresses. The impact of this case could extend beyond Diddy, potentially exposing a network of enablers and other individuals involved in similar behavior. As the investigation continues, the entertainment industry is left to confront the dark side of its power structures. The revelations from this case could lead to significant changes in how issues of consent, privacy, and power are handled, as well as how individuals in positions of influence are held accountable for their actions. The male S court's chilling story has revealed a hidden side of Diddy's world, one defined by control, coercion, and secrecy. His testimony, along with the growing body of evidence, has cast a harsh light on events that have remained concealed for years. As federal prosecutors continue their investigation, the full scope of Diddy's alleged behavior is beginning to come to light, with potentially devastating consequences for the music mogul. For the victims, this investigation represents an opportunity to finally have their voices heard and to seek justice for what they endured. As more individuals come forward and more evidence is uncovered, the case against Diddy is expected to grow even stronger, leading to what could be one of the most significant legal battles in recent entertainment history.